Hello and welcome back. I'm Great Your Motives and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the New Vegas script extender as well as Fallout Who Vegas. The reason I'm doing this video for you guys is hopefully to give you a helping hand. A lot of you down in the comments and over on the forums seem to be reporting a number of issues which are connected to the New Vegas script extender. Whether it's being wrongly installed or you're not using the loader. Um, hopefully this video should cover all grounds to make sure that essentially you get a bug free and enjoyable playthrough of Fallout Who Vegas. First things first, there's a couple of things you need to download. So if you go straight onto your browser, make sure you Google, type in Fallout New Vegas Nexus. First thing we'll come up with is this one. And it will take you to the Nexus page. Because Fallout Who is quite a large file, you'll need to make sure that you have an account on the Nexus. Once you have an account on the Nexus, click search and in the search box here type Fallout Who and it will come up here Fallout Who Vegas by the Meggie. Click on there and it will take you to the Nexus page. Once you're here you'll need to click on files and you'll see there are three available. I'm going to show you how to download and install it manually. So you'll need to do them one at a time until you have all three downloading. And that's how you acquire Fallout Who Vegas. However, to make sure it runs properly, we also need the New Vegas script extender. So, if we open another tab and go back to Google, we simply need to put in NVSE, which is New Vegas script extender. And it's the first one that appears here. Click on it, we'll take you to this site. You'll want to make sure you download the latest version, not the latest beta version. For people who don't have a program like 7-zip, you can just get the zip file here. Click on that, we'll open a download, and that'll add that to your download queue. If we now go straight to our downloads folder, you should see we have all four files ready to install Fallout Who Vegas with. If you are missing one of these files, please go back and follow the steps to make sure you have all four available. First thing I want to show you is how to install the New Vegas script extender. So, double click the zip file, it should undo it for us. In here you'll have a file. Go into there and you'll find you've got quite a few things you'll need to take out. So, now we need to open another window. You need to go into your Steam directory. Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, and then in this folder here, you'll need to copy out and paste. That'll install the New Vegas script extender for you. There is something else we'll need to do with this, but I'll come back to it once we have Fallout Who successfully installed. With the other files for Fallout Who, you'll notice they're not in a similar format. You'll need a program like 7-zip up here to get to the files inside. I'll put a link to 7-zip in the description, as it's a free piece of software. When we open 7-zip, it will come up with another screen like this. You need to go through each of these files in a certain order. The first one is this one. Now the README and the Type 40 TARDIS quick reference is just little things you can read through. But to make sure the mod installs correctly, we'll need the ESP, the ESM, textures, sound, and meshes. Make sure they're highlighted and drag them somewhere safe on your desktop. Once you've done that, you need to go back up a file to the Fallout New Vegas patch 2. Inside here you'll find just an ESP. Drag this somewhere safe onto your desktop. 
you'll come up with this and you'll need to copy and replace it. That's just to make sure that patch 2 is successfully installed. Now with the last file, this was just an issue when the model was originally packaged up. If you go inside it, you'll find the archercapacitor.nif. With this one, you just need to open the new meshes folder you've created. Go into Fallout Who Vegas, Items, and then you just need to drag the Arch and Capacitor down into the new file. Now that the mod is all set up and ready, we can officially put it into Fallout New Vegas. Now, we need to open another document window, go into Steam Directory once more, that's Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, and then this time we need to go into the Data folder. If you have other mods installed, as you can quite clearly see I do here, then you might find that you've already got meshes and sound and textures folders. However, if you don't have any mods installed, you'll find that you don't have these folders. That's okay. When we copy these ones in, they'll be there. So we need to cut and paste them in. Make sure you tick this to do it all for all current items, then click yes if it needs you to merge your folders together. Voila, that's Fallout Who now successfully inside the data folder. Now that all the files are in place, you need to boot Fallout New Vegas from your Steam directory. Here you'll need to click data files and you'll need to search along until you can find the Fallout Who Vegas.esp. This will need to be ticked. Once it's done, click OK and then close down this. Now as I previously mentioned, there is one more little thing we need to do with the New Vegas script extender. So if we head back into the Steam directory and follow it back to the Fallout New Vegas directory where we actually put the New Vegas script extender files, you'll find we have a new program here called the NVSE loader. If we give that a right click and create shortcut, we can then cut the shortcut out and paste it onto our desktop. And from now on, whenever we want to play Fallout, we'll need to boot it from this little icon. And this will allow the New Vegas Script Extender to load and it will probably fix, as I previously mentioned, a lot of issues you lot seem to be experiencing with Fallout Who. It's just a simple double click. It will ask you to do it. You can always untick this so it doesn't ask you in future. Click on Run. You get a quick black box here. And then it will boot Fallout New Vegas. If you have followed all the steps I've shown you, then you should have Fallout Who and the New Vegas Script Extender successfully installed. I really do hope this has cleared up a lot of problems you guys seem to be having. I've been Great All Motives, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.